first of all how can we structure the top level directories in redux uh, how can we uh, structure it uh, in redux uh, the top level directory so uh, we will create the folder redux then inside the redux there will be different files uh, like action.js reducer.js or component.js so these are the files we, uh, we will include in that folder okay explain me the javascript so javascript is a kind of scripting language so of like uh, what we do in html to create layout what we do in css for designing with this javascript we uh, it is help us to interact with the web pages so for example like there is a button so on button click what functionalities should be done so with the help of javascript we can do so this is one of the example in short what we can say it is a scripting language and it is used for interaction with web page okay so what is How can we break the JavaScript code into different lines? Uh, with the help of backspace and n, so it will break that line. With the help of template literals, also we can do. Okay, so tell me the difference between undeclared and undefined variables. Uh, so undeclared and undefined. So undeclared. Uh, so suppose if if we take the x, uh, if we console of x. and without defining any variable if we don't define var x or let x and we do console log x so that is undeclared whereas undefined so we are doing var x and we are printing console log of x we have declared but not assigning any value so that is undefined what are global variables uh, with the help of global variables the variables that can be accessible or visible throughout the program those variables are nothing but the global variables how many different kind of variables exist in javascript uh, so there are two types of variables local variables and global variables so the difference will be the so accessibility like the variables the global variables they can be accessed anywhere in the program whereas local variables within the scopes so for example like in lo for local variables there is a function and inside that function there is a variable so that variable can be accessed only within the function so that is a local variable okay okay what is the difference between where and let keyword uh difference between where and let what happens with let is they are the block scope whereas var is the var is the function scope var can be accessed anywhere in the program whereas let uh, it can be accessed within the block so that is the main difference and yeah let it can't be redeclared var it can be redeclared okay uh, what is the difference between set timeout and set intention so set timeout and set interval uh, so what it happens in a set interval is it will call the method repeatedly whereas in set timeout it will call after a certain period of time so that is the difference between set interval and set timeout so for example like 5 milliseconds is it is the time so uh, after every 5 millisecond the function will get executed through set interval but in set timeout it will execute after that period of time 5 milliseconds okay so what is the use of debugger keyword in javascript so the why we why we are using a debugger keyword is like it is used to create the breakpoint or what we can say is the uh, it is used to check the errors at run time so mainly for that purpose we use debugger okay okay so what is how to split a string into array items we want to split a string into array items then we can do with the help of split method
what is the ternary operator so uh, with with the help of ternary operator we can execute the conditional code in a single line so for example like uh, so uh, take an example uh, if a greater than b so what it we will do if a greater than b question mark we will write a statement so if a greater than b then the first statement will get executed and after first statement we will write colon and the second statement we will write so if it will be false then the col after the statement after colon will get executed so that is the use of ternary operator what is web storage so uh, web storage with the help of web storage we can, what we can do is we can uh, the application can store the data locally within the user's browser so with the help of web storage we can do there are two types uh, which include session storage and st local storage session storage it will store the data for a session so if we close the browser then the data will get lost whereas in local storage it won't happen the same so it will store the data like there won't be any expiry date so uh, like even if we close the browser the data will be stored so that is the bit, uh, difference between session and local storage what is ajax so ajax uh, what it happens with the help of ajax we can come like it helps to communicate with the server without there is a reloading of the web page and due to which there is a performance increase what is the difference between filter map and reduce uh, map filter and reduce uh, so map it will compute each element of an array so, so if you want to multiply each element by 3 4 then we <laughs> uh, uh, like divide each element by 4 then we can do with the help of map method uh, then filter if you want to like extract or uh, uh, we want to uh, pick out particular elements then we can do with the help of filter like uh, there are four elements one two and six eight then if you want less than five then we can do with the help of filter condition and the other one is reduce so reduce method uh, suppose if there are uh, four elements one two three four and we want addition of all the elements as a result then we can do with the help of reduce method uh, this is the difference between map filter and reduce yeah okay what is a higher order function so the function that returns a function or takes another function as an argument that are nothing but higher order functions so uh, map method it is one of the example of higher order functions so we will move on to Yes. Tell me one basic difference between props and state. Uh, props, uh, it is used to pass the data from parent component to child component, whereas uh, the state, it is used to store the value within the component. So that is uh, one co basic difference between props and states. So can't we pass the state from one component to another? Uh, we can't pass the state from uh, one component to another. No, we can't. Uh, that is the role of props. When would you use a class component over a functional component? Uh, when should we prefer class components? When we are using uh, error bound boundaries, then we can use so this is one of the uh, point through which we can prefer class component over functional component what is the difference between a between an element and a component in react so uh, element and component element is nothing but what we want to see like it is the smallest part of the code so like so uh, suppose if you want to uh, see like hello name whatever the name is so that is an element so const element whatever so 
which we uh, which get appeared on the screen so that is an element whereas component it can be reused the code can be reused so that is a react component what are the different life cycle methods so different life cycle methods it includes uh, mount mounting updating and mounting so uh, for mounting uh, so in class components uh, for mounting updating and mounting for mounting we do component did mount for updating we do component did update and for unmounting we do component will unmount whereas in functional components uh, we do with the help of use effect so yeah in which life cycle event do you make a edit request and why and the life cycle uh, the life cycle event uh, which we use to make a ajax re uh, request is the uh, mounting method yeah so because when the data is accessed we can use the u uh, set state to update the component what are controlled and uncontrolled component so the main difference between controlled and uncontrolled component in the uncontrolled component the form data it gets managed by the dom whereas in controlled the form data it is managed by the react component so that is the main difference between controlled and uncontrolled component why browsers cannot read jsx uh browsers they are unable to read jsx why because uh, the javascript so jsx they cannot be read by the browsers and uh, so babel came into place and what babel will do the transpiler it will convert the jsx into javascript objects so that browser can understand okay. what is the difference between real dom and virtual dom real dom and virtual dom okay so real dom the processing is much slower why because suppose uh, take a situation where there are multiple lines of code and a single line of code is changed so <coughs> when the single line of code is changed it, it will re render uh, each and every line of code whereas in virtual dom it will only render the chain line of code instead of each and every line of code therefore the processing is faster in virtual dom yeah what do you know about react router react router uh, it is used for uh, switching through different pages so that's what a uh, react router helps we can route to multiple uh, different pages okay so what are stateless component so stateless is a uh, the functional component is a stateless component it has uh, it doesn't have any internal state management therefore it is uh, the functional component is known as stateless component okay so in this why there is a need to capitalize on the component because if we don't capitalize it then it uh they are treated as built in components so therefore the uh, name must be capitalized what is the redux so the redux uh, it is used for the global state management purpose so when we deal with larger projects with large number of states then we uh, generally use redux okay what is the difference between map state to prop and map dispatch to props so uh, map state to props and map this so map dispatch to props uh, when we use when we want to update the state whereas map state to props when we want to get the data from the store then we use a map state to props so that is the main difference mm -hmm. what are the what do you understand by an action in redux architecture so uh, action 
action in redux what it happens so action what it have uh, it contains the uh, a set of information so that information uh, it is taken by the reducer and it will update the store based on the uh, value which is in the action so based in the uh, value of the action the reducer will update the store okay. and uh, any idea about the redux thunk so redux thunk uh, it is one of the middlewares which we use in redux and uh, it is used to it is used for delaying the dispatch of the action whereas or it can be used if a like it may dispatch only if there are few conditions which get satisfied so it can be done with the help of redux thunk okay that's all from my side yeah. do you have any questions